guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video today i have a sheen haul for you i did one month or two ago now and you guys seem to love it so i thought i would bring it back with another one i may even do another one leading up to christmas who knows let me know if you would like to see that um but i have a lot of like homeware bits today some fashion bits a good mixture of kind of autumn and winter things a couple of christmas things so um yeah if you want to see what i picked up from shein then just keep watching i think i'm going to start with showing you the homeware bits first and then the fashion items but before i do show you i just want to thank Shein for very kindly sponsoring today's video. I will leave links to all of these items that I feature within this video down in the description box. And I also have a discount code for you guys, which I will leave on screen. And again, down below where you can find out um, more information, all the links to everything that I got. And let's get into the homeware finds. Now, first thing, I'm gonna start Christmas. I got this cushion cover, which is adorable it is like a christmas tree with um this kind of like it's kind of like that borg style material if you can see there loved the texture of it it's almost like a 3d print i just love that so it's quite good that you can get just cushion covers on their website because I find there's nothing worse than having loads and loads of cushions in storage if you're getting seasonal bits i just throw this over a cushion that i already have and then yeah, no need to put the cushion in storage for when you get your cushions in and out kind of thing. So that was the first item that I got. Another Christmassy item that I didn't even think to look for on Shein, but I came across them and I was like, oh yeah, I'll pick a, a few of those up. They are Christmas cards. So this is the design that I went for because I love the forest green at Christmas. I feel like my theme is very much brown paper, forest green, gold, a bit of antique brass there as well. And it just says, Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. May the Christmas be bright and cheerful and may the new year begin on a prosperous note. So I've got a few of those. And then also from the stationery section, I picked up this, which is a desk notepad. And it's one of those ones that just like you can tear it off and every page is the same. And it's kind of like a, the font and everything is like the Times paper. It's like the monthly Times. They also do a weekly Times as well, if you'd prefer. But I decided to pick up the monthly one. Um, and it just is, a, it allows you, if you, especially if you've got a desk space, to just have it out so that you can jot on it and just kind of switch things over, move things around, and then when it gets a bit messy, rip it off and start going on the next page. I do love a stationary purchase. Anyone else? I picked up these, um, like, kind of liners that you can put in, like, roasting tins to try and keep things from sticking or... Mm helps with the washing as well but these also go in the slow cook not the slow cooker the air fryer which we're yet to use but because we're about to rip out our kitchen the old kitchen we're going to be without a kitchen until we build the new one so we've got an air fryer which we want to start using let me know any tips and suggestions on how to use an air fryer because apparently you can do anything in it but i'm like how is that possible are you meant to put loads of oil in are you not are you well, it's an air fryer, isn't it? I don't know. Let me know how to use it. I need to teach myself, basically. Then I also picked up these. Now, these are um, sofa, like, throws. I picked up two to go on our current sofa in this lovely kind of herringbone, um, kind of woven design. But on the flip side of it, it comes with these, like, sticky pads. So that's what makes it different to a throw, which at the minute, I just put loads of throws over our sofa. It's black, we have a golden retriever, the two don't mix very well, so I just constantly have throws on, which is great, because you can throw them in the wash. But I also like to get under a throw. So I thought these would be good to actually put on the sofa, which we can switch out and wash often. And then we can actually have our cozy throws to put on top of us. So yeah, I picked up two. They come in different sizes. I've picked up the relevant sizes for our sofa. Speaking of cozy throws, I decided to get this chunky knit throw. It's not the biggest, but it's just one that can either drape over the corner of the sofa or the arm or over the corner of your bed. Um, and it's just so soft and cozy. It's even a good size actually to throw over Barney's bed. I think he would really like this. Speaking of Barney, I saw this and I just had to pick it up. <laughs> kind of made me laugh. I tried it on him last night. So I'll in include a video of him trying it on, but it's this hoodie in this teddy fleecy fabric with the uh, khaki green and cream. 
and it's got super pet kind of looks like supreme in that same font but it's got super pet on the back and tom was like you've got him a supreme jumper i was like no no it's super pet and he didn't seem bothered by it. I suppose it's kind of similar to his towel that I put on him for if I bath him or if we've been out on a wet walk. So yeah, it probably doesn't feel any different to him. Yeah, it looks super cute. They've got loads of pet stuff, by the way. I bought my um, running band that I put around my waist, like a waist belt that attaches to his harness when I go running with him. Um, so yeah, they just have loads of stuff on there for pets as well. Okay, leading on to the kind of fashion-y items now. First thing is some socks that I picked up. They do these like sets of socks, which I thought I would have a good clear out of all of my current socks and just replenish them with new. So I got this set of five, which comes with like a cream beige, terracotta, um, green and black. They're nice and thick and chunky, those ones. Then I also got these ones. They are like a ribbed knit one. Again, black, chocolate, uh, tan, mushroom, cream and white. And then I really like these. They're kind of like varsity style. Um, they kind of throw back to my childhood as well, but they are all with the days on. <laughs> Obviously that's Sunday got uh wednesday monday it just reminds me of my childhood because i'm pretty sure i had socks that had the days on i had underwear that had the days on t-shirts that had the days on these kind of a sock that just go to your just above your ankle look good with like leggings and my ultra mini uggs so i picked that set of seven up um and then i did get one loungewear set this comes as a set so you can only buy like the size you can't like mix and match so i think i went for a medium in this one medium or large large i went for um because it is loungewear so it's, it is quite oversized I, I probably could have got away with medium but this is the top just a plain gray kind of mal vest top and then the bottoms are like so so it's just got a stretchy waistband, very, very stretchy. And then same little cuffed stretchy um, bottom. And then I also picked up this kind of thin knit. I actually think this was more from the summery section as a coverall for like the beach or just in summer nights when it gets a bit cooler to have something over your shoulders. And it is just this kind of like sheer knitted loose fit top. But I actually thought this would be quite nice with into winter because of the length of it. You can wear leggings, boots, nice cozy boots, even Ugg boots, and um, like a long sleeve top underneath, a tight one, so that this is just that added layer on top. And yeah, I just really liked it. It's got a little turn up on the sleeves. You could even wear it a little bit off shoulder. So yeah, that's a good all year rounder, even though it was summer. Look at this pair together. So cozy, so perfect for the season. I'll show you this one first. This is a knit vest with a roll neck, although you could wear it up like that. But I thought this would be quite good to layer up with a blazer because with a blazer, if you want that chunky knit look underneath, but it's quite hard to fit your arms in a blazer if you've got a chunky knit on. So it's quite good to layer up with a vest instead. I think they had some other colors available as well, but I love the chunkiness to that. It's not scratchy or itchy at all. It's nice and soft. And then this blazer equally is nice and soft. It's a little bit, a little bit thinner than I'd have liked, but it's definitely not thin, but it's just, if it had been a bit thicker, then I could have worn it more as like a jacket coat. Whereas this is just like a blazer. I'm really loving the brown check blazers, shirts, jackets at the minute. I have a thing for them. I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, I thought this would be really nice to add to my wardrobe. I love it, it's very country style, isn't it? It's like barber, country. This one's a bit of a wild card. I, I keep seeing outfits and things with this burgundy color, and I think it's gonna be quite big over autumn, winter this year, and I just feel like I have this shirt already anyway, and I, I do love it, I wear it quite a lot, but it's in like a mushroom color. So I thought I would switch up and get this burgundy. Now I'm not 100% sure on it yet. I still feel like I need to play around, style it up, decide whether or not I want to wear it with like a black outfit, a cream outfit, maybe, maybe a lighter colored outfit, like a stone color. I don't know. I need to maybe get on Pinterest, get some inspo going for how I could style this shirt. 
I think it's because it's burgundy, it just throws me off. I'm like, oh, what do I wear it with? I like the richness to it. And it is a little bit festive as well. Next up, I got a quilted jacket. I'm a big fan of the kind of green quilted jacket. They're kind of duping like the Frankie shot that they did last year. This one does come with like a belt. It doesn't have belt loops or anything. Oh, it does actually. I tell a lie, it has belt loops. So if you wanted to wear it with the belt, you could, or equally you could just wear it without. To be honest with you, I probably would wear it more often without. Because when I wear a jacket like this, very rarely do I actually do it up or cinch it in. I leave it undone as just a layer. So yeah, it's like a collarless style quilted jacket, nice big pockets, perfect for dog walking. Any kind of a jacket that has to be suitable for a dog walk, even if it is a nice one, it's gotta have big pockets because you've gotta put them treats and poo bags somewhere. And then I've got this. Now I don't own anything like this, but I keep seeing this kind of cropped trench trend. And this one's like a faux leather version of just like a cropped trench style jacket. And I actually really like it. I think with a, like an all black outfit, whether they be probably black jeans, actually, I was gonna say all leggings, but black jeans, basic black top, and just this is like a bit of a statement throw on piece on the top. I really like it. I did size up to an extra large in this one. So bear that in mind, because I did really want that oversized fit just to make it a bit more like fashion, a bit more, I don't know, the statement piece, if I'm wearing just a basic black outfit, maybe even with like black heeled boots on would be really nice as well. Yeah, I had to pick this one up when I saw it and jump on that trend, which I'm a fan of. They do do some in like the trench coat fabric as well, but I thought I would just try it with the faux leather. And then last but not least, I got this knit um, chunky roll neck vest. It's got like a cutout detailing on the side. So it's definitely one of those vests that you would just have as like a layering piece. However, I'm not really sure on the color of this one. It's kind of like a lilac-y gray and I just don't know if it's very me. So I might return this one just on the color and maybe switch it out for a different one. I do like the style of having this open again with like a long sleeve top underneath, plain leggings, like the length of it as well. So yeah, that is the last and final item that I got from Shein. Let me know which is your favorite. I can't wait to get that. I'm just looking at it now, that chunky knit throw on the sofa with our new sofa covers. Delish. So yeah, thank you so, so much to you guys for watching. Thank you to Shein for very kindly working with me on today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Do give me a thumbs up if you did and be sure to let me know if you'd like to see another one in the lead up to Christmas. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, whatever it is that you are doing. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.